Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on logo design. In this video we will discuss the step by step process to design a letter mark logo. I will follow the same process we discussed in our last videos. So let's start the process with concept building. The client brief is an essential part of logo design process but sometimes the client does not provide the enough information. So in that case what should we do? First don't worry and second watch this video till the end and follow the steps discussed. For this logo the client did not provided enough information. Only the information I received from client was that they are software house namely web belly and bond a letter mark logo and now for concept building we will use the brainstorming and mind mapping technique to generate an effective concept. For mind mapping I started with the brand name and split the brand name into two words as web and valley and then started writing random words relevant to those words. As the main gadget for software house businesses is computer and internet so the first word that came into my mind was world wide web or www and the internet globe icon. Now the word valley. The first thing that came into my mind was that valleys have trees and from those trees we can get timber. Mostly valleys are green and we can use the wood for furniture or wood houses. Then the other idea that came into my mind was that sometimes valleys are so big or complicated that you can lose your way and in this case you may need help from map application and what if you don't have any internet facility. Then the most favorite equipment used for navigation can be the one and only campus. So I hope you can understand how we can get different ideas from one word to another and once we are done with mind mapping we will choose two to three main relevant words and start sketching in accordance to those selected ideas. So like usual I started with rough sketching I tried to incorporate the main ideas to different sketches. During sketching I tried to incorporate the W and V into one combined design. So after creating an initial concept I realized that the internal part of this concept looks more like X. So to make it clean and more recognizable I did some modifications and came up with more refined concept. In our previous videos we discussed theory about logo, types of logo and design process. So if you haven't watched those videos then click the link given in description or the i button at the top right. Mostly the letter mark logos are simple and minimal. So while sketching I was focused on minimal and clean design ideas. I hope you can notice how the new ideas can be generated from one sketch to another. So for the second concept I realized that the design looks to have double V and does not fit with the theme. So I tried to fix it with some modifications. Finally after completing concepts you can do finishing of a sketch before moving towards the vectorizing. Uh, for this logo I personally like the second concept as it looks more relevant to the theme like it portrays concept of mountains with edgy triangular negative space, the navigation compass or the mouse cursor and brand initials. However I will vectorize the concept and let you people decide which design you like most. So don't forget to share your kind remarks. So once we are done with the sketching it's time to vectorize the design while using Adobe Illustrator. Open the Illustrator, create a new file and remember to set the color mode as CMYK. Import the sketch into software and start factorizing them into initial concepts. Reduce the opacity of a sketch image, then lock the image by simply clicking Ctrl or Command 2. I used pen tool to test the sketch. I wanted the concept to be balanced on both sides so first I completed the one side then by using reflect tool copy the design on other side. So after some attempts I came up with the first concept. Now for second concept I again reduced down the sketch, lock the image and then start tracing with pen tool. The 
design looks too wide so I tried to fix it by some more attempts. After finalizing the modifications, I added the campus sign at bottom part of first concept and then after comparison decided to go with campus sign on both concepts. I always try to scale down the logos into small size to check if it will be legible and easy to recognize in small size. In this case, if the campus icon was not legible, so I would have tried to increase it otherwise simply delete it. But it seems good so I choose to have it. Now move forward to next step that is to add logo text. As the logo icon resembles with sans serif category so I use the sans serif fonts. At first I compared different fonts and choose the font which looks more relevant to the icon design. However the E of typography does not seem to fit with the theme so I made some modifications by converting the text into outline and then drag down mid bar a little and reduce its width size. As the business of our client is related to tech, so I will use blue and green color to fit with the theme. Once we are done with logo icon, typography and color, it's time to present the initial concept to the client. The main purpose of presentation is to show the client that how their logo will work with different variations. We can use 3D mockups, man color, black and white option and the logo variation. For this logo I will stick to one variation with logo text below icon. I hope this video will be beneficial for you. Let me know about the concept you like most and share your remarks in the comment box. If you like the video. Subscribe to my channel and share my content with your friends. In next video I will design a logo from another type and talk through the overall process. So stay connected and hit the bell icon. Thanks.